First, you will need to accept the quest Call of Water from any Shaman Trainer, including the Shaman Trainer in Bloodhoof Village in Mulgore, Razor Hill in Duratar, the Spirit Rise in Thunder Bluff, or the Valley of Wisdom in Orgrimmar. You will need to be at least level 20 in order to accept this quest. Next, you will need to speak with Island Water Seer. Starting at Ratchet in the Barrens, you will head south following this path to the coast, and then just on the other side of this mountain here, you will locate the NPC at 6644 on the tip of the coast here. Speak with Island and complete the quest Call of Water, and then accept the next quest in the chain to find Brine in the Southern Barrens. Starting at Camp Taraho at 4559 in the Southern Barrens, you can head out east and then follow the road south for a ways. Shortly after reaching the fork in the road, you will want to go right and then climb up the ridge on this mountain here to find Brine, located at 4377. Speak with Brine and complete the quest, and then accept the next quest in the chain, requiring you to walk just down the hill here to this little water hole. Once you approach the water hole, you can right click the empty brown water skin in your inventory, keeping in mind that there are some higher level enemies around here. Once you fill the water skin, walk back up the path to Brian, speak to Brian to complete the quest, and then accept the next quest in the chain, which requires us to fill the empty red water skin at Terran Mill. In order to get there, head to the Zeppelin just outside of Orgrimmar, located at 5014. Walk up the ramp and enter the south-facing zeppelin when it arrives, and then wait for it to leave. Once the zeppelin arrives here in Tears Fall Glades, you can follow the path south into the Silver Pine Forest, continue following the road all the way south and then east into Hillsbrad Foothills, follow the path east and then north to get up here into Terran Mill at 6221. Once there, locate the well in the middle of the town, approach it, Right click the empty red water skin in your inventory, wait for the channel to finish, and you will obtain your filled red water skin. Next head back to Brine in the Southern Barrens following the same path that you took the first time. Speak to her to complete the quest, and accept the next quest in the chain, requiring us to fill a blue water skin in Ashenvale, which can be done here at 3368. Starting at the crossroads in the Barrens, you can simply follow the path due north to get to Ashenvale. Once you do, you can head west following along the mountains. You can also follow the road if you would like. However, you may encounter Alliance players as this is a PvP zone. I actually found it quickest to just die and then take the Spirit Res just east of Astronar here. After that, it is just a short walk south to enter the ruins of Stardust at which point you will need to locate the fountain in the middle of the ruins. It is protected by level 22 plus enemies, however even with res sickness, I was able to run in, drop a stone claw totem, get close enough to click on the water skin, and then wait for the channel to finish and fill the water skin before I died. This method is obviously not necessary, you can just fight your way in if you'd like, but however you do it, make sure you head here and fill your water skin. With the filled blue water skin in your inventory, we must once again return to Brine, complete the quest, and accept the next quest to return to Island Water Seer. For this next part of the quest, it is very, very important that you come to Island Water Seer and complete the quest with the vial of purest water in your inventory in order to obtain the water sapta, then accept the next quest in the chain. You will need to have a Water Sapta in your inventory for this next quest, so make sure that you do, and if you do, you are good to go. Once again, take the Zeppelin from Orgrimmar as outlined in the previous steps. From here, you will head south into the Silver Pine Forest, following the road until you see a path to the east. Take that path to enter the Sepulchre. And once you are here with the Water Sapta in your inventory, you will find a hidden path just behind the crypt here. Aim for this big, tall tree, and then head up the right side. If you jump at just the right angle, then you should be able to get up onto this path here. It is quite a long way down, so be careful as you jump. You may need to stop and heal yourself up in between jumps, or you can just hug the walls and take not quite as much fall damage as I did here. 
Either way, once you reach the bottom, exit through the gap in the mountains to enter the North Tides Run. There you will find the Spirit Stone, which you should approach, and once close enough, right-click your Water Sapta to summon the Corrupt Minor Manifestation of Water. Defeat the Minor Manifestation and then loot it in order to obtain your Corrupt Manifestation's Bracers, at which point you will right-click on the Brazer of Everfount, which is located right here next to the Minor Manifestation. Complete the quest at which point you can accept the next quest to speak to the Manifestation of Water, wait for the NPC to spawn on this little island in the middle of the water here, speak to it, complete the quest, accept the next quest, and then we will need to return to Island in the Barrens. If for some reason you left before speaking with the NPC on the island, you can return to this location with another Water Sapta that you can get from Island and speak to Teve Mordoon here, and he will spawn the NPC for you to speak with and complete the quest. But hopefully you did not forget to do this, so you can return to Island just south of Ratchet, speak to her, and as long as you have the Shard of Water given to you by the NPC, you can complete the quest and earn your Water Totem as well as your Healing Stream Totem spell. This is a fairly straightforward quest, however it does require a lot of running back and forth, and a couple of the locations can be a little tricky to find. So I thought that it might be helpful to make a video showing all of the steps and all of the locations along the way. Hopefully you found this video useful, enjoy your Water Totem, and have a good one. Peace.